Hi friends, this is a detailed analysis of Marx distribution for the subject theory of computation for gate CSC across many years and across various topics that are part of the theory of computation syllabus. Please note that this whole Google sheet will be shared with you in the description section below so that you can you can see these numbers for yourself and prioritize what to learn. So let me give you some high level overview of each of these uh, each of these data points. First, you have various topics here. For example, these are the topics which are mostly about uh, deterministic finite automata, non-deterministic finite automata, and a bunch of concepts like Miele machine, Moore machine, etc. Then this is again from these concepts across the years from 2021, which had two sets all the way. If you, if you just scroll to the right, if I just scroll this page to the right, you will have the analysis till 2012. Again, of course, you should focus more on the more recent year trends. The first thing that you should observe is from theory of computation in the last few years, right? If you see the last few years, you're getting anywhere from eight to 11 marks. Look at this. If you see the last three, four years worth of question papers, I mean, even if you go even slightly further back, you're getting anywhere from eight to 11 marks, typically about nine marks from theory of computation. And as we have told multiple times, theory of computation is one of the easiest subjects to score marks in because you can see the color coding also here. This topic, everything that is in green color, those topics are easier to score in if you know the concepts, right? So you can find the same thing if you go to the rightmost column, you'll see that everything, all the, all the topics that are in green color are easy to score. Medium is orange, the, the reddish color is more trickier or slightly harder topics, right? So you can see all this analysis right here. Now, okay, so now let's, let's go and understand some more important things. First and foremost, if you see all the easy topics in theory of computation, look at all these topics, all the topics around finite automata, regular expressions, grammars, PDAs, context-free languages, context-free grammars, these are fairly easy to score marks in. And even if you observe the last few years, you can score a good chunk of marks easily from these topics, right? If, if you see almost, you can, you can score about, uh, I mean, if you see two or three marks here or there, like there are some, there are some, there are some years where there weren't any hard questions itself. For example, in 2021 set two, all the questions you had were from the easier topics and you got like 11 marks worth of questions in the year 2021 for set two, right? So broadly speaking, this is what the mark distribution is. Even for the medium to hard problems, which you might encounter from topics like Turing machines, especially decidability and undecidability, etc. You can score these marks very easily if you know the properties. For example, if you know the closure properties of various languages. Similarly, if you know the decision properties of various languages, and if you know how to use something like Rice theorem, right, in undecidability, you can answer these questions very easily. Again, we have done some live sessions where we have solved problems interactively. You can see how we have solved problems around closure properties, decision properties, and undecidability fairly easily using some of the theorems and properties that we've studied in our course itself, right? So broadly speaking, this is the mark distribution. And if you think about it, even from the hardest of topics, which is typically undecidability or uh, decision properties or closure properties of languages, you get about roughly anywhere from one to three marks. Sometimes even you get, you, you can even get zero marks. So on an average, you can assume that you would get about two marks on, on an average, approximately about two marks is what you would get from the trickier parts or the slightly harder parts of TOC. From rest of the parts, you get most of the questions. So that's why we often recommend our students to focus on TOC and start their preparation with TOC because TOC is easier to score. You can easily get approximately of the nine marks that you typically see in TOC, you can get about seven marks fairly easily if you just know these concepts. We will be doing similar analysis for other subjects like uh, for compiler design, operating systems, etc. Again, on our YouTube channel, you will find similar analysis done earlier. I believe the earlier analysis was done till 2019. Now we have added the last three papers that we have seen for the year 2020 and the two sets that we have seen for 21 and 20 uh, for the year 21, right? So please, again, you can look at the whole analysis till 2012, but it's more fruitful if you see the type of papers and type of distribution of marks that we are seeing in the last four to five years. That's what we would recommend you look at, right? So I hope uh, this will help you prepare better and understand what topics are easier to score, what topics might be slightly harder uh, from in a relative sense, obviously, and where you can score maximum marks based on a simple data-driven analysis.